In the old days when the wheels went round and round Through a wagon trench I call this home And out there The Panhandle of Texas was known to early explorers as the Great American Desert because of its lack of sufficient surface water. The windmills were really important to this part of the country, very important. You see, the, this was a flat country, there was no timber, no water much, and they said this is called this Panhandle, all this country. Uh, dry desert, nothing out there, good for nothing. So the dry from east going west because there was no water. And uh, that was the first thing. If you didn't have a windmill out there, you just, they, it had been tried, you just couldn't stick it out. You had to have a windmill. Just to show you, how important they were when the big, these settlers began to get them. Uh, my old neighbor over here, dead now, uh, came up here about the 1900 and so when this country was being settled. And he had to haul water from here clear through some of those creeks down below uh, this side of the Canadian River. About a 15 mile trip in a wagon, in this wagon full of barrels, you make that trip for water out of a creek down there, or you go to a Hansford County seat, the courthouse out of windmill is about the same distance, about 15 miles. And he'd make that trip uh, about twice a week. And uh, he was really saving with that water till later he got a little money and put up a eclipse. And when you ask me then, what a windmill went to, meant to me, I thought, well, I, I never had thought I took a windmill. As, but the fact is that to me, the significance of it was it was water to drink, water for cooking, water for washing clothes, all kinds of housekeeping, 
And then when I think about it, I know that the fact that it furnished water for the cattle was the most important thing in my life. Because water is essential to life, Early settlement was restricted to areas that had abundant natural water or where water tables were shallow enough for hand-dug wells. Laurel Hale tells of a hand-dug well in Sherman County. We're standing on the site of, uh, of the old hand-dug well, one of the first hand-dug wells in Sherman County. And uh, it was supposedly dug by a fellow that was running sheep in this country. He said that he and a Mexican one of his Mexican sheep herders dug this well, and I think the best of the, the knowledge that I've uh, derived from people that lived in this area at that time, his name was Williams, and he, uh, he dug this well, he and this Mexican, by hand, and it was over 110 foot deep. Little did early explorers know that a few hundred feet below the surface was abundant water the buried treasure of the plains. Until the use of the rotary drill in the 20th century, virtually all deep water wells were drilled by cable tool rigs, many of which were homemade of timber frame construction and which used horsepower as a means of raising the drill bit. Who were these tough, far-sighted men that dug the wells and helped settle the panhandle? In Sherman County, one of these mechanical-minded mavericks was J.T. Brown. I am Timmy Brown. I came here in 1901 with my father, T.F. Baskin. I am the daughter-in-law of J.T. Brown, who came to Sherman County also about 1901. He came here because a friend of his had come through Sherman County. Stratford had, the railroad had just gone through and he uh, told his friend, J.T. Brown, when he got home at Lomita, Texas, that if he wanted to make money, Stratford was a place to come. As a result, Mr. Brown did come up here and looked at a location over and decided that it was a good place to come. So he brought his family to Stratford about in 1901, along about in there. He, now he uh, moved in uh, box cars. He brought the well drilling machine, lots of cedar posts, and things like that to make his living. The well drilling machine was horse drawn, and of course, as the, uh, uh, as the drill went up and down, they walked around. And my husband, Joe Brown, your, uh, your grandfather, rode the horse. And uh, as they gradually walked around the path, why the, the drill bit went up and down, so that it was a very crude thing. Well, now Mr. Brown brought in the well drilling machine. He brought in cedar posts that just grew down there. Uh, the folks who cut the trees had piles of them. And so they, uh, he had a very significant place in that, econ econ that sort of economy in Sherman County. The introduction of the windmill helped solve the water problem and opened the way for permanent settlement. The windmill's whirling turbines furnished power for tapping the underground water and bringing it to the surface. The mills became a prominent feature of the panhandle landscape. The windmills and their history seem to be fading. Today, even a casual observer may discover the ruins of windmills or rotting wooden towers as silent testimonials to an earlier era, symbols of the American West. J.D. Buchanan's windmill collection helps us remember their importance. I first started loving windmills when I was about four, three or four years old. I'd point them out on the road, you know, ask them what kind they were, and uh, count them, you know. I was a little kid, I wanted to count them. So 
I'm always been uh, interested in windmills long in the 60, about 67. I guess I got interested, what happened to all the windmills? They're all gone. And I started to hunting for them, old parts. Over, well, I found parts up in Nebraska, Nebraska, New Mexico, Colorado, and Texas, and Oklahoma, all over the country. I started hunting for them and gather them up and rebuild them. And uh, I really enjoyed it. And uh, I guess uh, I found one in the crate down in New Mexico. It never been sold, an old eclipse. And uh, the Smithsonian Museum of Washington heard about it, and uh, they want to know what chance it was to get it. They saw it in the stock paper where I'd had this old mill, and uh, it had never been sold. And I told them, well, I'm putting here to let you have my wife before I would that windmill. But anyway, I gave them the windmill, and they hauled it all up in the museum. So it's up in Washington. And uh, that began to get a lot of people interested. In fact, uh, some of the old men saw that old windmill I, I put up, and they said, what's that boy putting up that old windmill for? He knows they're no good. Well, I didn't put them up pump water. Boy, I put them up because I loved them. When the day was over and the surroundings seemed resigned to quietude, the only break in the silence was the clack clacking of the old mill wheel. Never ceasing in its labors, the old windmill was the plainsman's golden dream, the key to the underwaters, the buried treasure of the plains. Watching Buffalo 